People planning to go to university this year are being encouraged to get their applications for student loans in early so they don't miss the deadline. A new fee system will begin in the autumn that could mean some graduates in England end up paying back double the amount that they borrowed. So do they really know what they're letting themselves in for? We'll be asking two students in just a moment. First though, John McGuire has been taking a look at the numbers. Meet the future. A doctor, a politician, a journalist, and a fashion buyer. Well, that's if everything goes according to plan at university and if they can afford it. These students in Lambeth realise they'll be the first to pay the increased tuition fees at English universities, but are determined to fulfil their ambitions. Tosin plans to study medicine. I wasn't really put off from going to university because in my opinion I, I kind of saw it as a lifelong investment and in some ways putting money into having a better future. Tommy wants to study philosophy. How much do you think your university studies will cost you ultimately? Uh, about 7,000 a year, um, 30,000 in total. So 30,000 in total? Yes. Okay, how long do you think that'll take to pay off? Uh, not too long, maybe a year when I can leave. A year? Because I'm hoping to be rich. Yeah. <laughs> so we entered Tommy's yeah. details into the BBC's student fees calculator and the result, based on averages, Tommy would only be free from his debt, not after a year as he'd hoped, but after 25 years. Do you sort of worry about carrying that debt yeah, or not? Yeah, I, I, I don't want to have a, a debt that large um, at that kind of age. Um, I want to be relaxing, you know, with family. Um, so, yeah, I don't really want that debt. Okay. But that's, that's, that's the price of the investment in, in your education. So I'm, I'm, I'm prepared to give that. The director of the sixth form here says it can be difficult for teenagers to comprehend the long-term picture. I think one of the important things for sixth form is speaking to them about the value of money because for some £3,000 a lot of money, £9,000 is a lot of money and they're not that sure what the difference is really. Obviously they know the difference is £6,000 but what it means in terms of budgeting and, and what it means in terms of their lives, that's the hard part for them. Those arranging student loans realise these are untested waters. The amount of time it takes a student to repay will depend on their earnings because the more they earn, um, the higher the monthly repayment. So these sixth formers face their future with hope, with ambition, but also with financial uncertainty. John Maguire, BBC News, Lambeth. Now we're joined in the studio by two students, Remy Oshibanjo and Yara Sheikh, both from St Martin in the Fields High School for Girls. I think we saw you in the background of that yeah. report there because those were some of your friends we were yeah. talking to. Yeah, now, yeah. when the young man, uh, who's a friend of yours, I know, said, oh, I think I'll pay it off in a year, yeah. you both kind of had your, <laughs> yeah. your head in your hands. Are you aware that it's not going to be like that? 100%, yeah. Um, we know that, especially now that um, fees have gone up to about 9,000, we know that it's going to take quite a long while to get it all paid off. Um, but like Tosin said, it's part of the investment and we're more than willing, I guess, to just go with the flow and um, pay it off if that's what we have to do. Remy, is that how you feel? You're prepared to sort of take on that level of debt in order to get yourself a better future, I suppose? Yeah, because I think something, getting a degree is something I've always wanted to do. So mm. if I have to pay more then I guess, Hopefully it will be all right and I won't feel it as much because I'm in a situation to pay it off. And I guess it does help that you have to earn more to pay it off. Um, so instead of being 18,000, I think it's 21 now that you have to earn per year. So I think that's a lot better. And I guess I'm just going to have to deal with it. There's nothing we can do about it. There, so. there was a fear when all this began that some young people would be put off by the scale of the, the sums of money that you start your working life with. I mean, is that, I mean, most of the people we seem to have spoken to seem to have adopted the principle that you're saying now, you've got to do it, need to do it, yeah. and it'll be worthwhile. Are there people you know who, have, who don't want to go to university now because of the money? Honestly, not too many. I mean, now there's other alternatives like internships that people are more looking towards as in to just get straight into the area. Whereas um, things, for example, like medicine, you're going to have to go to university in order to be a doctor. And I think especially for people um, in the area of college that we actually go to in Southwest London, we're not going to shy away from the fact that we need to work harder than maybe other people around London and mm. other parts of the world in order to, to succeed. 
and to kind of come out of um, the, the barriers that we've been facing um, to succeed and, and become successful. Um, let's just talk about what you're both studying as well, because Remy, what are you hoping to do? I want to be a fashion buyer or a just fashion work buyer. on the business side. And so I suppose in some ways that, you know, that could be, if you're really successful, yeah. a lucrative career Hopefully, path, actually, couldn't it? Course. Yeah, so I guess that's what I'm saying. Like, obviously it's hard, but if you do what you want to do, I think most people aspire to have a good job. So if you're going to go to uni, you're doing it because you want a certain pay so mm -hmm. and because you want a certain job a certain lifestyle and so on so if you go then it's an investment like Tosin said and um it's an investment in your future and there's no other way really i'm interested as well because um you know you both feel really strongly about this did your minds change have your minds changed or did you you know when you first heard about the fact you're gonna have to pay this amount of money you thought i'm gonna do it anyway or has your mind been changed by what the government's been saying i kind of thought I thought about the subject I was going to do because yes. I thought maybe I should do something a bit more academic I had to like go with other things and whatever but at the end of the day I think it's really important to make yourself happy and it doesn't it does matter how much you get paid but it re it's just important because at the end of the day it's your life and you need to make yourself happy and Yara, have you got all your is there anything in place because I know that the sort of deadlines are starting to get closer for yeah. loan applications and all yeah. that stuff all up together yeah it, it, we have a really tight connection at our school and yeah. in our sixth form um, with connections and our directors of sixth form, you know, um, always banging on about deadlines and just making sure that everything's in order. So okay. we're good with that. What are you going to study? Journalism or media. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. It's uh, a great job. The, yeah. uh, uh, yes, good luck. Absolutely. I know you, you. I think you're going to talk to us a little later as well. And Paul Lewis will be here who's going to sort of go through some of those figures and some yes. of those deadlines you were talking about as well. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up on Breakfast this morning, one of the